Well, it was a landmark vote as the city council takes major action on deadly e-bike fires. Teresa Priolo joins us live now with more on how the vote is intended to cut down on the use of dangerous lithium-ion batteries. Teresa. Yeah, Natasha and Chris, the city council knows how important e-bike and e-scooters are to delivery workers, but the devices that they're riding on in many cases are just ticking time bombs. So the idea here is to provide them with safe vehicles and certified batteries. We're telling New Yorkers we're taking a very, very big measure to keep your neighborhood safe by giving individuals an opportunity to take that unsafe device and hand it in and get a much safer device in return. New York City is now the first major metropolis to launch a lithium ion or e-bike battery trade-in program aimed at curtailing e-bike fires around the city. The bill buys back the uncertified device and hands delivery workers a battery that's been inspected and works. The program's two years. It's going to be a multi-million dollar effort for FDNY and DOT and other agencies collaborating together to help facilitate that. By the numbers this year, there have been 175 fires and 14 deaths caused by e-bike explosions. That's roughly four a week. It is a crisis that many local leaders have been trying to wrap their hands around. The hope is this buyback program will do what the individual delivery workers cannot, secure safe batteries. It's going to be a really big help for us because because so far, there is not easy to get like a certificating battery out there. So it's really hard to find. It's not that many too. So I think there is a lot of work to do to researching where we can get the, the best batteries. The legislation coincides with a new law going into effect this week, banning the sale of uncertified e-bikes and batteries. So just a few things to mention. The mayor hasn't yet signed this bill into law, but he is expected to. The rules of who is eligible for the buyback, they still need to be outlined. And the city council is also working on another piece of legislation that would require delivery apps like Uber Eats or DoorDash to chip in and provide safe certified batteries. Chris, back to you. All right, Teresa, thank you very much.